everyone, Miss Gordon here. Today, for our number corner lesson, we're going to be looking at a couple of different things. First, we're going to talk about some of this out here. So we're going to be counting by tens, okay? This is something that we're going to be doing in number corner a lot this year because we're collecting days for every day that we've been in school. And we're collecting them by ten. Last year, in your first grade class, we know that you collected every day and you just counted them one, two, three, four, five. Well, we're in second grade now, so we're not going to count by ones. We're going to count by tens. And I have my number lines here, and we'll talk about those here in a second, but they're counting by tens. So when we count by tens, we make jumps of 10. Okay, so we go from zero to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And we're going we're gonna to keep going with that. But first, I want to talk about a couple of words. You might know these words. They're right here. First one is horizontal. Oh, there we go. You can see it, horizontal. And the other one is vertical. So when we're talking about the word horizontal, we're talking long and flat. Okay, this right here is horizontal. If you ever watch the sunset, you look out and you're watching the sun set along the line that is the land, you're looking at the horizon. Okay, so when you look at the horizon, the horizon is horizontal. Horizon is this word right here. So I drew this picture of the sun setting. I know it's far away, so you can't quite see it, but that's what it is. It's the sun setting on the horizon, horizontal. Now, vertical is this other word, okay? Vertical is up and down. So this picture, you can't see it either, but this is a person. See that tiny person? That's me. That's Miss Gordon. And I'm standing next to a tall building, and I'm looking up. I am looking vertical. Okay, so when I'm looking vertical, I am looking up. So we have two directions here. We have vertical and we have horizontal. So this is our horizontal line and this is our vertical line. And yesterday in, I think it was yesterday in number corner, we talked about something similar, but we just called them rows. And columns and they're the same thing our columns go vertically and our rows go horizontally so horizontal and vertical are directions okay they are directions that things go in they can go horizontal or they can go vertical whereas a row or a column those are nouns those are things um, and uh, for things to be in a column okay so that's the the name of the thing whereas this is an adjective because it's a descriptor or just direction more often. Okay, so for number corner, we are going to collect 10. And I know that in number corner, we're also collecting 60 minutes, but it's kind of the same idea. But this one, we're going to go all year, whereas the 60 minutes, we're just going to do for September. So this month, we are going to collect 10 hours for every day, because every day we spend about 10 hours in school waking up and getting ready for school, driving to school, driving home from school. So it's about 10 hours that we're looking at for one school day. Now I know that that's not exact and that's okay because not everyone has the same distance that they need to drive to school every day. So things flex, which means they move a little bit on either side, but we're gonna assume that it takes about 10 hours for every day that we've been in school. So this whole year, we are going to collect 10 for every one day. Okay, let me write that down. I'm gonna choose orange. We'll see if we can see it. 10 hours equals one day. Perfect, you can see it. Okay, so every 10 hours is equal to one day. So we're gonna practice. You're gonna do this with me. So get yourself ready. We're gonna count from zero to 90. Pretty soon we're going to get further than that. But first, we're just going to go zero to 90, counting by tens. Okay, ready? Start at zero. Count with me. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Nice job. I hope you did it. Keep yourself honest. Let's do it again. This time we're going to go vertically, which means up and down. Vertically, up and down. Ready? Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 
90. Nice job. So if we had been in school for nine days, we would go all the way to 90. But guess what? Today, we have been in school for 10 days. So how does our number change when we add 10 more hours to 90? What number do we have? Think about it for a minute. Okay, think about it. I hope you know it. You say it right now if you do. After 90, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And I have my card right here. We're going to add to our number line. Okay, 100 is what comes next. Now, when we have 100 of something, we have a century. A century is 100. And usually the word century is used for things like years. When 100 years have passed or 100 years in the future, we're thinking about a century, 100 years. Okay? I'm going to scoot my number lines down so I have room for my century up here at the top. Okay? So this year in second grade, we are going to be keeping track and collecting centuries. Let me write that word for you so you can see. Let's use a new color. Okay. Okay. 100. Century means 100. So when we collect a new century, it means we collect another hundred. So today is our very first century day. We have had 100 hours almost that we have used to be in school, to get ready for school, to get home from school, all of those things. Okay, so we have had a century. Now, if we're just talking about 10, each of these little jumps, this is called a decade. So I call these decade numbers because 10 is deca means 10 but decade is our collection of 10, okay? So if ever in math I tell you that we're going to use a decade number, it's these numbers that end with a zero on the end, okay? Now, we're going to keep going in this next number. You might know what it is already, but I'm not going to talk about it today because we've only been in school for 10 days, so I can't think beyond that. But a decade can have three digits in it, so this is still a decade number, okay? Because it's still... Um, we're just thinking about those ending numbers, okay, for math, for what we're talking about in math, okay? But a decade is a collection of 10, specifically years or we're using hours. Okay, now I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to go get my number corner book. I want you to do the same thing, okay? You're going to go get your number corner book and we are going to come back together and we're going to work on, a, on one of our workbook pages in our number corner book. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to go get my book, and then I'm going to restart it with my video, or end my book, end my book. Okay, right now, pause the video if you need to, go get your book, come back, meet me here. 